Hi guys, as usually it's me, just a voiceover, and you're watching review machines. And today we'll meet some more unique machines. This time we'll see the rarest battle all-terrain vehicles of the Second World War. You may know we are quite interested in the Navy's, and it was so exciting for us to make this video and touch the history. And now we look forward to share our impressions with you. So get comfortable, my friends, and welcome to the world of the unique machines. Let's start with this Daimler MK1, British armored ATV, designed in 1939. It's mainly a scout car, it's quite light but powerful. It's able to fight enemy vehicles, light tanks and even aircrafts. This ATV was highly respected in British military forces. They didn't want to phase out it, so it was used up to 1965, when this vehicle was definitely out of date. It has integrated body made of 16mm armor plates welded together. The maximum speed on a good road is 80 km per hour. Such result provided by a 4-cylinder engine, 95 HP, working with 5 range gearbox. The transmission is quite unusual. Each wheel here is driven by an individual crankshaft. Also, there is an independent long-travel suspension. Also, it is interesting that there are two steering systems. The additional one is in the turret, so if the driver is not able to handle the car, the commander can replace him in his turret. This is a light armored German ATV designed by Wesserhut Company in 1935. This vehicle is based on Hork chassis. It's quite advanced machine, but in fact the German troops were disappointed in this ATV. It has four-wheel drive, V-type eight-cylinders engine Hork 81 HP, five-range gearbox, decent maximum speed 85 km per hour. But the most interesting, all the four wheels here are turnable. Such a feature provides perfect maneuverability, but requires a complicated suspension system. On perfect German roads, this vehicle passed all the tests. But in battle conditions on rough terrain and mud, the complicated suspension showed bad results and proved to be not reliable. Besides, the vehicle is too heavy for off-roading and it got stuck very often. This is a legendary American vehicle. It's one of the most popular armored troop carrier not only in the US, but throughout the world. They called it half truck due to the rear tracks, and it was really appreciated in military forces of different countries. It was produced by the US during the Second World War for land lease supply to the Allies. In fact, the car has very simple design, but impressive capabilities at the same time. It's equipped with gas engine 141 HP. It has six cylinders, it's quite powerful, reliable and torquey engine. It's able to accelerate 8 tons vehicle up to 68 km per hour. I think even today it's quite decent result for a tracked vehicle. Besides, it's really good for off-roading, all-wheel drive, rear tracks. The thing is really capable in dirt. It was produced up to 1944, but used for much longer time in many international conflicts. Guys, this is really a rare machine. The matter is, it's the only unit remaining in the world. It's USSR vehicle of the early 30s, and it's called quite simply Amphibious Armored Vehicle. And yes, it's really amphibious. It may seem quite awkward, but in fact it's an effective battle machine of that epoch. The vehicle has an integrated body with 7mm armor that protects from bullets but not from shells. But if it had a heavier armor, it just wouldn't be able to float. At the front of the body there is an engine. It's 4 cylinders engine, 40 HP power, working with 4 inch gearbox. By the way, there is a screw propeller driven by the engine, and as a result it can move on water with a speed 4 km per hour. The maximum speed on the ground is 50 km per hour. It has 4 rear wheel drive. Front wheels are not driven by the engine. The tires are solid and cannot be damaged by bullets. Besides, it's possible to mount two wheels on each hub and even equip tracks on the rear axle, so it is a really effective amphibious ATV of that time. And this is the best French armored all-terrain vehicle of the Second World War period. It's called Panar AMD 35. 
It was designed in 1935, and it passed all the acceptance trials with perfect results. Especially it's good at off-roading, so it was considered as an effective ATV due to the certain characteristics. A rear four-wheel drive, 6 cylinders 105 HP engine, leaf suspension with hydraulic shocks provides smooth driving. But the most interesting is another feature. The point is, this machine can move with the same maximum speed, both forward and backward. The crew consists of two drivers. That is why this vehicle was really unpredictable in battle. And it was a very tough target for tanks and artillery. After the capitulation of France, these vehicles were highly appreciated by German forces, and they used them up to the end of the war. When Germany was defeated, France resumed to produce Panar and approved them. We'll speak about it now. Well, speaking about Panar vehicles, let's meet this one. It's a descendant of the previous model. It's armed all-terrain vehicle Panar AML 245. They started to produce it in 1960. This vehicle is equipped with 4D engine. It's gasoline 4 cylinders 90 horsepower engine that provides maximum speed 90 km per hour. Certainly there is 4-wheel drive and new feature here is central system of tire inflation, a crucial function for any ATV. Also there is independent suspension with hydraulic shocks. Besides we don't see any axles here, instead there are interesting reducers. Their design provides almost flat bottom that significantly increases off-roading capabilities of the machine. Moreover, there is a special kit for this model that provides waterproofing and allows to cross even deep lakes and rivers. In this way, this Panar is a real all-terrain vehicle, it's quite successful and there are other modifications for different military purposes. This vehicle stands out from the others in a way, but it's so interesting that I can't miss it. By the way, I wonder if there are any owners of Bombardier or BRP sleds among us. I think it will be quite curious for them to know that it's one of the first Bombardier snowmobiles. It was produced in Canada in 1943. Nowadays these machines are so rare, and it's quite tough to get any information about it. Initially, Bombardier company produced these snowmobiles for military purposes, but they proved to be so simple and effective that also were highly appreciated among civilians. In fact, it's a real bus for winter trips, housing 11 passengers and a driver, and it's able to move in the deepest snow. It's equipped with Chrysler engine and three-range gearbox. The maximum speed in snow is 64 km per hour. There is a front suspension for the skis. From behind we see the tracks 420 mm width. By the way, the body and even some parts of the frame are made of a plywood. That is why the snowmobiles are so rare now. Speaking about Bombardier machines, let's have a look at this vehicle. It's also Bombardier B3 model that firstly was produced in 1938. It's a military armored all-terrain vehicle that is capable to move both in deep snow and on a rough and swampy terrain, towing an artillery cannon, for example. There is 14 mm armor. The vehicle is equipped with Cadillac engine. It's V8 engine, 110 HP. It provides maximum speed 44 km per hour. By the way, I know that you, my friends, like my videos on this channel about homemade tracks ATVs. So it may be interesting, look here. The design of these tracks are so similar to the DIY tracks, aren't they? They are also made of a rubber belt and metal hooks bolted together. But they are much wider on double rollers. Quite curious solution, I think. German half-track tractor, designed by German company Krauss Mafia in 1933. This vehicle is considered as one of the most successful ATV tractors of the Second World War period. It's very spacious, reliable and powerful. It's able to move on rough terrain, carry 11 people and tow a serious cargo up to 12 tons at the same time. Such impressive capabilities result from a very effective 6 cylinders engine Maybach, 6 liters capacity and 140 HP. It provides maximum speed 50 km per hour, a decent result taking into account the weight of the vehicle, about 10 tons. The transmission consists of 4 range gearbox with reducing gear. The fuel consumption on a flat road is 80 liters of gas per 100 km. 
By the way, when British troops managed to capture this vehicle, they were so impressed they tried to design their own tractor based on this model, but the results are unknown. This British armored vehicle, designed by AES company in 1940, it's aimed at fighting light tanks and scouting. The front armor is 57 mm, the turret armor is 65 mm, the weapon is 57 mm cannon and two machine guns, including anti-aircraft one. In this way, this vehicle is considered a serious combat unit that even can resist light tanks. The vehicle is equipped with huge six-cylinders diesel engine 158 HP. The maximum speed is 78 km per hour. There is a 4-inch gearbox with reducer, part time 4-wheel drive. The total weight is 11 tons, it's rather heavy unit. Also, it's worth mentioning that total it was produced about 600 units, so nowadays they are quite rare in such impressive condition. Well, guys, I think that's all for today. Please post your comments if you want me to make more videos about rare military machines. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. It will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.